Hey, this is Eddie Hale, and today I want to show you how to manipulate paths and curves in Adobe Illustrator. I want you to become super skilled at this because it'll make you a better pen tool user, and next week we're going to learn the pen tool. I also, as we work, I want you to imagine that you've done a sketch and you scanned it in and now you're drawing around it in Illustrator, and you need to know everything there is to know about manipulating paths to get your path to follow the edge of your sketch. So. I'm going to make a couple of practice shapes here. I'm going to draw a square and I'm going to draw a circle. And I think you should pause the tape and um, draw a couple of shapes to play with also. I think you should pause the tape a lot and practice the techniques that I'm showing you here. All right. First thing is um, when you're manipulating paths and curves, you're going to use the direct selection arrow a lot. So I'm going to click on that white arrow. I'm going to click on the edge of this circle. Let's talk a little bit about anatomy. This is an this is a path right here. Path, this is an anchor point. This is another anchor point down here. And these two things are direction handles. On a curved path like this, there will be direction handles. This path here does not have any direction handles. Path, anchor point. Okay. So back to this one. I've got eight or nine skills I want you to learn. Alright, the first skill I want to talk about is rotating direction handles. You can rotate these direction handles 360 degrees. And what they do is they tell the path which way to enter the anchor point and which way to leave the anchor point before some other anchor point um, affects their curve. So rotating direction handles. Skill number two is changing the length of the direction handles. I want you to become familiar with how a long direction handle will make the curve big and smooth. A shorter direction handle will make a tighter, sharper curve there. You'll need to be able to draw both, so practice lengthening direction handles, shortening direction handles, rotating direction handles. Skill number three is moving anchor points. Sometimes you're trying to get the curve to follow the sketch or the, the path in your mind and you just can't get it to work until you move the anchor point. Maybe the anchor point is just in the wrong place. So get comfortable moving anchor points along with using the direction handles. Next skill, this is where you're going to become amazing. Look at how these direction handles act like a teeter-totter. They're called dependent. When I move this side, the direction handle on the other side moves also. And that's wonderful because it creates smooth curves. So you need these kind of direction handles. But what if I want to break this direction handle here? I want a corner point here instead of a curve. How do I grab this one without moving that one? Well, there's this tool called the Convert Point Tool. It's hidden under the Pen Tool, Convert Anchor Point Tool. Watch how when I grab this direction handle and move it. The other one doesn't move. I've broken the teeter-totter. Isn't that neat? Now, Ed's big rule of the convert point tool is once you use it, get out of it. Go back to the direct selection arrow. That's the tool you use for adjusting curves, not the convert point tool. The convert point tool breaks the handles, and then you get out of that tool. Why do I feel so strongly about that? Let me show you skill number five and try to convince you that that's a good rule. Back in the convert point tool, if you have a curve point and you want the direction handles to go away, you can click on an anchor point with the Convert Point tool and the direction handles go away. If I click on this one, the direction handles go away. I'm left with a straight line segment. If that's what you want, a straight line, it's a nice skill to know, getting rid of the direction handles with the Convert Point tool. But what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to accidentally try to select an anchor point. If you want to select this anchor point to adjust the curve handles and you try to select it with the Convert Point tool, the direction handles go away. I'm going to hit Command Z to bring back some of my direction handles. So the, the direct selection arrow is the tool to use for selecting an anchor point, not the Convert Point tool. All right, skill number six is almost as amazing as skill number five or four or whichever. The Convert Point tool does this neat thing where if you have broken direction handles here, I can press and drag and it restores those curved direction handles. And again, I would get out of this tool before I try to adjust those handles. The Convert Point tool will also drag handles out where there were none before. So I can drag direction handles out of these corner points here. That is kind of neat. I am going to get out of that tool now because I'm done using it. Switch to the white arrow. Skill number seven. I want to add anchor points. Let's say I, I want this curve to be more curvy up here, and I can't do it with just these two anchor points. I'm going to press down where the pen tool would be and go to the add anchor point tool. And if I click along this path, I'm adding anchor points where there were none before. 
and just for fun I'll move some of them around with the select, direct selection arrow. Next skill, let's say you have too many anchor points. I've got that extra one there. I can press down on the pen tool and go to the delete anchor point tool, click on that, and that anchor point goes away. That's skill number eight for you. Let me show you something that I think is interesting. It seems intuitive that if I wanted to delete this anchor point right here, let's say, I should be able to click on it with the direct selection arrow and hit delete on my keyboard and it should go away. But when I do hit delete, it deletes the anchor point and the path on either side of it, creating this open path. Maybe that's exactly what you want. In that case, let's call that skill number 8.5, deleting anchor points with a direct selection arrow. But if what you want is a closed path that um, just doesn't have this anchor point down here, then you have to remember to use the delete anchor point tool. The path stays closed, but the anchor point goes away. All right, the last skill is moving shapes. If I want to move this shape, I want to convince you to use the selection arrow. That's the black selection arrow, and it moves the whole shape. If I try to move the shape with the white arrow, sometimes it'll do this and it'll just mess the shape up. So remember, if you want to move the whole thing, that's a black selection arrow sort of skill. All right, you know everything there is to know now. You know how to rotate direction handles to adjust the curve. You know how to lengthen and shorten direction handles to adjust the curve. You know how to move the anchor point if it's just in the wrong place to adjust the curve. You know how to break direction handles with the convert point tool. If that's what you want to do, you know how to restore broken handles and make them curvy again or drag direction handles out where there were none before. You know how to add anchor points with the add anchor point tool. If I want another little bump there. You know how to delete anchor points with the delete anchor point tool. I could delete that anchor point. And you know how to move a shape. If you want to move this shape, you'd use the black arrow. So there. You know everything there is to know about manipulating curves and paths, and the really neat secret is you could draw any shape you want just by starting with a basic shape and manipulating it with the skills that I showed you in this lesson. All right, I think you should consider watching my next video, which I'm going to call How to Be a Path-Adjusting Power User. All right, thanks, bye.